Good morning, Tampa Bay. A lot happening this morning for sure. I'm James Tully. And I'm Sarah Finney in for D. O'Reilly. We need to get right to Greg D. with a check on the weather because he's been tracking storms for hours now. Uh, yeah, and this has been quite an event here going on across the Bay Area. The lightning is one thing a lot of you are really noticing. We are watching any to watching a tornado watch for all counties except Highlands and DeSoto until 11 o'clock this morning for this line of storms, though it's really I-4 North that the best conditions are for maybe a quick spin up tornado. We've had a couple of warnings already. I have not seen any actual reports confirmed by the Weather Service of damage to the area. So let's take you through what's going on right now. First of all, if you live to the north, this is going to be up towards Citrus and Hernando County. Severe weather threat is over. Just heavy rain right now, and it's mainly in Hernando. Pasco, your severe weather threat, it's also over. Pinellas County, your severe weather threat, mainly over as well. Most of it is now in central and northern Polk County along I-4. This is Lakeland heading up to Polk City and Davenport. This is a pretty strong storm. No warnings for it right now. Strong storm moving out of Lake Wales. No severe weather with that. Zolfo Springs, Wachula, Sebring, Avon Park, Northport, and Sarasota. You're dry. Your storms are moving in from the west and northwest. Heavy rain, Riverview down towards Ruskin and Apollo Beach, but this is not severe, though there are additional batches of heavy rain offshore. These will be moving through in the next hour or so. The rain kind of slows up as it moves in into our area, so it could stick around for much of the afternoon. That's why your hour by hour rain planner for today, it's got quite a bit of it right into later on tonight. Temperatures, though, only in the 70s with the heavy downpours. We'll take another look at the radar and update you on that watch and any warnings that could be issued coming up in a few minutes. Sarah, you've been watching the roads this morning, the rain and the lightning, really a show. Yeah, and a moment ago, there was some lighting at this camera. This is I-4 at 33, so east of Lakeland. Uh, and you can see that there is some rain coming down. We've got a bit of uh, ponding on the road. There's a bit of lightning there. Uh, just remember to take it easy. It's going to be really wet. I want to move Move to Pasco County because there is heavy flooding being reported on US 19 at Alt 19. In fact, the northbound lanes reportedly closed there. An accident reported through the area as well. The blue on my map indicates ponding, and you're going to find that pretty much uh, everywhere you go in the Tampa St. Pete area. Uh, so this is something that we'll continue to watch as we move throughout the morning. We're also tracking power outages due to these storms. Not very surprising there. About 7,500 Duke Energy customers are without power right now. Most of those are in Pinellas County. Tampa Electric's website is down right now, so we're reaching out to find out how many outages they might be dealing with. We will keep you posted on the numbers throughout the morning as that power comes back on.